F1 score is a common evaluation metric in machine learning and data analysis that measures the accuracy of a classification model. It is particularly useful when dealing with imbalanced data sets, where one class may be significantly more prevalent than the other. The F1 score combines precision and recall, providing a single metric that balances both metrics to give an overall assessment of the model's performance. The score is a measure of a classification model's accuracy that combines precision and recall into a single score. Precision measures the proportion of true positive predictions out of all positive predictions, while recall measures the proportion of true positives that are correctly identified by the model. It is the harmonic mean of precision and recall, providing a single metric that balances both measures to give an overall assessment of the model's performance. F1 score is important in machine learning and data analysis because it allows practitioners to evaluate the effectiveness of their classification models, especially when dealing with imbalanced datasets. In such datasets, where one class may be significantly more prevalent than the other, traditional accuracy metrics may not provide a complete picture of the model's performance. It can help identify instances where the model is either overpredicting or underpredicting certain classes, allowing practitioners to fine-tune their models and improve their overall performance. The F1 score is calculated as the harmonic mean of precision and recall, which are themselves defined as precision equals true positive divided by true positive plus false positive and recall equals true positive divided by true positive plus false negative. F1 score is then calculated as 2 times precision times recall divided by precision plus recall. The F1 score ranges from 0 to 1, with a higher score indicating better performance. A score of 1 means that the model's predictions perfectly match the actual outcomes, while a score of 0 indicates that the model's predictions are completely wrong. Let's look at an example of how to calculate F1 score using real-world data. Suppose we have a binary classification problem where we want to predict whether a patient has a disease or not. We have 100 patients, of which 90 are healthy, and 10 have the disease. Our model predicts that 15 patients have the disease, of which 8 are true positives, and 7 are false positives. The model also correctly identifies 6 true negatives, and incorrectly identifies 81 healthy patients as false negatives. Using this data, we can calculate precision and recall as follows. Precision equals 8, divided by 8 plus 7, which equals 0 0.533. Recall then equals 8 divided by 8 plus 2, which equals 0 0.8. Using these values, we can then calculate the F1 score. F1 equals 2 times 0 0.533 times 0 0.8, divided by 0 0.533 plus 0 0.8. In this case, our model has an F1 score of 0 0.64, indicating that it has room for improvement in its classification accuracy. Interpreting F1 score depends on the context of the classification problem being addressed. In general, a higher F1 score indicates better classification performance, while a low score indicates poorer performance. However, what constitutes a good or bad F1 score will depend on factors such as the nature of the problem, the costs associated with misclassification, and the intended use of the model. For example, in a medical diagnosis problem, Misclassifying a patient with a serious illness as healthy could have severe consequences. In such a scenario, we may want to prioritize recall over precision and aim for an F1 score as close to 1 as possible, even if it means sacrificing some precision. On the other hand, in a spam email detection problem, we may prioritize precision over recall to avoid incorrectly labeling legitimate emails as spam, even if it means some spam emails are missed. F1 score between 0.7 and 1 generally indicates good classification performance. A. F1 score between 0.5 and 0.7 indicates moderate classification performance, with room for improvement. F1 score below 0.5 indicates poor classification performance, with significant room for improvement. Let's look at an example to illustrate this. Suppose we have a binary classification problem where we want to predict whether a customer will buy a product or not. A high F1 score would indicate that the model is accurately predicting both positive and negative outcomes, which could lead to more effective marketing and sales strategies. However, a low F1 score would suggest that the model is not effectively capturing customer behavior, which could lead to missed sales opportunities 
and wasted resources. In summary, interpreting F1 score requires considering the context of the classification problem and the goals of the model. While a higher score is generally better, it is important to balance precision and recall based on the costs and consequences of misclassification. I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on machine learning and related topics. Thanks again, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.